uh, debugging trains today. How's everybody doing today? Uh, it's a little cold in my office, so I'm wearing my my uh, hello there. I'm wearing my uh, my Discord hoodie that I got from uh, uh, from Pax. Okay, so last I left off, actually, I played a little bit um, in between streams, and I was having problems with um, oh dear, I almost fell. Um, that my system, this is the uh, the first small rail station. This one had no trains. Uh, the whole train bank is empty, so I need to fill that up. I was I came over here to rename stuff, um, and then I realized there was no train, so I couldn't get anywhere. So I need to work on that. Um, so I might actually I don't have the supplies all here, so it might be tough to work on here. Um, so I might manually walk, I guess, to the main rail station, work on renaming the cobble, which was my initial plan, and then, um, and then come back and fix this. This is the first, is the first version of the rail station. So it's missing some of the mechanisms that are sort of trying to help it keep running. Um, so that's a shame. Let's get a regular cart. Oh, we have one. Good. Look at this. Um, and I forget why I came all the way over here initially. Oh, it was to get... I wanted to get experience. So I got a bunch of experience. I think I have enough to go. Um, what is all this stuff? Um, so a lot of engine tokens and a lot of weird caboose and all kinds of stuff. Did I do that? I might have done that. Um, is this stuff all going to break everything if I... Hmm. If I just let this train go, will it absorb okay? Um, maybe. Maybe everything will be okay. Oh, except this is programmed. So south intersection 2, that's okay. Alright, I think we're okay. Probably. We'll find out. So, we're on our way to the main rail station, hopefully. We'll see, uh, yeah, okay, that was for this intersection, I think. This is intersection two, if I if I'm recall correctly. So, uh, we're going to try and uh, program in the destination selector for uh, the newest rail station we put in, the one at the iron farm, and then we'll come back to this one. I'm going to grab some supplies before I do that, come back to this one. And then try to fix um, fix that rail station. So there's actually carts there. Uh, I'm trying to maybe grab a bunch of wood, if I have a bunch of wood here at this farm. Um, and then um, and then probably add in... I have a thing where if that's low, it'll dispense uh, chest mine carts. But then that eventually might run out also. So I'm going to have a hopper chain that goes up to the top. So in the top room... You can see if it's low on chest mine carts. Maybe I'll even have a little noise indicator, uh, or or at least a light, to indicate if it if it's low or not. But we'll see. Okay, there we go. Good. And then the rest of the carts will come through. Uh, we can get rid of this. Let's actually just dump this. Oops. Okay. Oh, no. Ugh, how inconvenient. Was it just bricks? Just a brick. Okay, we're fine. And then that cart, that can go away. And then we have ender pearls <laughs> to get out of here. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then a fence. Boop. Okay, everything's fine. All right, where are we? So we need to name um, a bunch of destination tokens. Somewhere I have notes. Uh, I think it's actually a notepad. It's not even on paper. Let me find those notes real quick. Um, Hypermine. Oof. Rail station. Oh, no. I do have paper notes in there. That was so long ago that uh, I have a feeling that I'll have to refigure it out. Yep. 
Yep, we figured it out. Okay, so let's let's take a look to see. We already have program down there, um, so we need to hit the button, pop down here. Um, the small rail station, I believe, is going to be the second one, so it's the first on this floor. So if we look, um, the first on this floor. So there's east and then north, and there's no engine tokens. Um, let's go up a floor. Do we need engine tokens on this? I feel like we would. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't go down low enough. That was the first floor, right? So that's fine. That's okay. So this is actually. This is programmed to go to um, to that. Interesting. So this this actually doesn't need um, engine tokens. Hmm. Okay. It's been a while since I programmed that. So this down here <laughs> is all right. So engine, which I which I guess we don't need. Well, how does it get engine tokens then? Um, let's. Let's wander a little bit. How does the engine get engine tokens? Does it come along here? Aha, engine token comes along here. It goes underneath these. No, and it goes underneath. Why are you there? Uh, goes underneath these and gets engine tokens. So there's not very much in the system. It seems. But yeah, this is where the engine tokens come in. What is this for? I guess this is also engine tokens. Okay, whatever. All right. Um, so then um, we need lots more engine tokens in the system for one. Or, or pretty low. I have no idea what this other card over here is for. Why are you here? You're empty. You should go back. There. Hello, Daddy Ogiz. It's been forever. Wow, what a mess down there. <laughs> Do I have feather falling on? Yeah. Not impossible. Chunk loading issues. Wow, what a disaster. <laughs> huh. Okay, well, let's bump some of these trains, some of these carts, to get back on the track. And then they should go up and go up top. Um, if we can bump them successfully. So that'll go up. It'll... It'll probably bump into the engine and then come back down on top of the stack. Let's see if it works. Wait, I don't know if we can see it from here. We probably can. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Good. Okay, so let's do that for the rest of these. Um, if they were stacked, that might be a problem, but we'll find out. And then it looks like there's actually a couple here. On the bottom of this, so let's um, let's try and get them to dispense. Aha! Interesting. Okay, I think we're okay now. Except that one maybe also will run into the side. I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe. Eh, maybe not. I think, yeah, why are you stopping there? Don't do that. Huh. Let's work our way up a little bit. Let's see if it's stuck on something and why. Actually, uh, yeah, I was going to say we can grab some wood, but our inventory is full. Yeah, why are you stuck up there? Why are you so stupid? I 
You can put it in the ladder, probably. Might be faster. Rebugging redstone. Train tracks. Okay, so you stopped. How bizarre. Hmm. I want to get out of its way. It's about to come back. I guess maybe it's just the loop I have here. Why do I have such a loop here? Why don't I go... <laughs> this is a little bit better. I want to get the direction right, which is part of it. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe that's better. I could, I could put in a power drill. I could, uh, if I extend these out back out, could put in power rail if I had any power rail on me. Okay, so maybe things are a little bit better. We do need to get more engine tokens in the system. And I need to uh, double check to find out what I have to program this to. Okay, so we're in here. I have three things. Let's ponder what we have to program it to use. So we need... Um, I have my notes. So exiting... Let's see, so south of rail station... So we need a sticky note. We need a intersection two um, south, and then um, outside of future rail station two iron farm. Okay, that's three, I guess. Um, east of south. I'm sorry. East of small rail station three. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. Entering, so the default for five is the going to the station. So we actually want to do intersection five. We want to go west, I think. Um, south of Iron Farm. Oh, I know. Actually, I'm programming for the wrong spot. Welcome. Welcome, JJ Bunzik. So I think all I have to do is just have intersection 5 um, west. Oh, and then I guess I need... So then intersection 2... No. Intersection 3, which isn't really... doesn't exist yet. But with that one, I want to go east. So let's just, let's just uh, do small scale first. Um, so let's check to see, are these empty right now? No, they aren't. They have all kinds of stuff. Including these stupid things. <laughs> okay, we're going to come back to that. What I want to do is just program, um, I'm going to manually program in these two indicators I'm talking about to see if everything will work right. So, let's, uh, let's come into here. So this is Caboose, everything's fine. Let's run over here. This is probably has uh, some random stuff, random blocks I just dropped in there. Okay. So let's get a cart. Uh, let's rename. Uh, what is this? Intersection 1 West. Um, right. So let's go. I think what I have to do is so basket rail. Intersection 5 West. And then, um, let's see, so actually, I'm sorry, exiting, so intersection one is already fine. So all I have to do really, this is default west. Does it really default west? So if I leave here, Comes over there. No, it defaults to east. Is this north? Yeah, it defaults to the east. When you're leaving exit basket station, default east. There, okay. So we actually need to do intersection one west, which is I think actually this whole stack I just looked at. Yes, intersection one west. Okay, 
So let's test that. So we're going to do intersection one west. We need engine tokens. Here we go, engine tokens. And um, so intersection one west. And then we also need um, not, uh, not intersection five. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, for south of Iron Farm Station, default north. There is no south of it. <laughs> south of outside. I think I have both intersection three and intersection six as the same station. Uh, can you get a shout out? Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> Welcome, magical Khan. Right? Khan? Khan? Yeah. Welcome. Mystical. You can be mystical and magical, both. Um, so I think intersection three I have labeled as outside future uh, small rail station two iron farm. Um, but then I also have south of iron farm station default north. Um, so. You followed, cool. Did it trigger? There you go. There it goes. Look, and then there's a little thing, and then my little my little head drops into the into the little bucket, or the little uh, um, what are those glasses called? One of those things. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> um, the cocktail glass, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Um, okay, so now what I need to do? Oop! I hit the mic. Oh no. Um, I don't know if intersection six or intersection three is what I should be using. I believe they're both defining the same intersection. Um, and actually intersection six, the default is east. So really we don't need it right now. So I'm not gonna worry about it, um, but I will eventually need it. So I guess what I'll do is I will go with, I'll put a bunch of question marks in front of intersection three and intersection six is gonna be the one we're gonna use. So it's actually east of Iron Farm Station. Soap is great. Um, so east of Iron Farm Station, and it defaults to east. Yeah, it's not east of, it's west of Iron Farm Station and defaults to east. Let me think, is that right? Yes. That's north. Yeah. All right. Okay. So oh, we don't. It's going to default to east. So we actually don't need a thing. Okay. Got it. So we don't need to worry about six. Uh, so we have just it's an engine, and we're going to go west. So this should get us to the iron farm station. Except that train had two engines. Aha. I do need, I didn't, I didn't think I needed this, but I do. So east of exiting basket rail station, default east. Interesting. Yes, I'm on PC. This is P PC Minecraft. Curious. Um, I expected this to change. It didn't. Let's double check to make sure that it wasn't because we had extra engines um, that we should have had. So what we want is we're going to hit this. And then we're going to reprogram the first car again. Just to make sure that um, the issue wasn't that we had too many engine cars sitting there. It's on its way. It's almost here. Okay. There we go. So we're going to remove this silliness. We're going to put in... Which one is it? We want you to do intersection one going west. 
And in theory, this might be enough to get us to Basket Rail Station. No, to get us to the Iron Farm Station. Huh. What do we do to make that thing work? How do we ever go that direction? Alright, let's go underneath the hood. <laughs> um, how does this work? So there's this chain here. That connects up to all of this stuff over here. I swear you, yeah, I've gotten that feel. I mean, I've gotten that direction from somewhere else. I don't know if I've ever come that direction from here, I guess. So here there are two. This thing controls the intersection. Um, but, so what we need to do is check to see um, this thing here pulls in and then figures out if we should go. So this here says, make it so that we don't come back to the station. Or rather, I'm sorry, that we don't exit going that direction. But instead, uh, let's change this track so that we are going to go the correct direction. Uh, but then I also send the signal down. Okay, yeah, so it should also be triggering this line as well. Um, okay. So, why isn't it? Let's go back upstairs. We can see that there actually is some stuff there that should be doing it. Do we get under this? No. Can we get through here? Yes. Do we have inventory space? No. Now we can get up and down. Okay, good. All right, so let's get another set of carts. We'll reprogram the beginning one, and this time we won't actually go in it. We'll just watch. We'll watch the other spot. What I want to see is, does that track ever actually change? The one that's sending us back um, or not? Like, so we want to watch. I'm going to hit the button, run over here and watch that. To see if it if if at any point it actually does point the right direction, going that direction. That should be going that way. Like once, once this thing here triggers, there's a couple hoppers there. Once that triggers, that changes this track here, and should also change that track there for a certain amount of time. We'll see if that happens. So let's reprogram this. We want to go intersection one. West. So let's move it into this corner so we can find it again. Uh, we don't care about that one. Okay. We hit the button, then run over there. I didn't run. But, so does this change? No. Huh. Where's my caboose? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. So it's not changing. Right. Alright. Let's, um... Because it takes so long, let's request another cart, and then we'll come back. We'll have to double check the redstone, and then come back. Um, so let's go around here, um, and under here. I'm trying to think the easiest way to test this. So it is. It is triggering. Yeah, that's scared me. It's <laughs> up there. Um, it is triggering this, but is not triggering this line properly okay so those are those are there this should be triggering so when this thing which is that same intersection thing is um, is inverted so right now the power is coming through and it is Uh, it is powered. So we're passing the powered signal through. Here it's inverted, so it's not interacting. 
when it should change, this thing comes through and powers or unpowers this, which then powers that thing and allows the cart to go, allows the cart to turn. Um, and then that comes over here and says, um, this should change. So I guess let's manually trigger it just to see if we can figure it out. So what do we have? This is here. This comes over this direction. So if this thing ever has an item inside of it, then it, it sends the powered signal through, which we invert comes over here. What are you doing? Why are you here? What is your purpose? Are you to power the rail and cause my life to be a problem? Oh god. Okay, so <laughs> somehow I shifted off of that. That's interesting. Okay. But that that's where we have to move we have to move that switch uh, into a different spot. So that's not too bad. We can do that. I wonder where I was standing on that. I didn't shift properly. Once the uh, once the boss thing works properly, I'll probably replace that with or replace this glass with that. Uh, but for now, this will work. Okay. So now let's move that one lever not be where it is and that should solve my problem no I, I think I just stopped pulling down shift okay so if we do this and then break this now if we go up top I guess this is the easiest way to get up top that should be switched yes okay good so that was what the issue was is that I was I buried I used to have all the switches on the top um, just, you know, to make everything function, but then I moved them down below. Um, and then while I was doing that, I ended up breaking everything else. Um, so we don't want these. Okay, and then somewhere in here, there's a way to get up, I think. There we go. <laughs> um, okay, I think we can just do that. All right, so now let's reprogram this guy to be going to the west. So intersection one, which is this thing right here, go west. So now I think this might bring us to the uh, small rail station. No, this might probably bring us to the south. No, what's it called? The Air Farm Station. There we go. Yes. And I think we powered everything along the way. We'll see. I think we have all the tracks powered, perhaps. No, we don't. I need more powered rail. Okay, well, it, it would have worked. <laughs> um, so, let's do this. I thought I had finished the whole rail. I guess not. I need to get some powered rail. Um, let's go ahead, because I don't want these trains... I would like them all to, uh, it's going to default to going into the station anyway. So do I want caboose tokens on me? Let's try and get rid of some blocks. And then we actually need engine tokens over there. So that works out. Okay. So you can just go and then, uh, and you can go as well. And then we're probably close enough that it's going to be loaded, but I guess I didn't consider that. Um, we actually, we do want to go back. I, <laughs> I need to get powered rail. So let's go get some powered rail. 
but now at least we can probably get there. So all we have to do is just put in a bunch of intersection one west tokens. And then we should be good to go. So let's go downstairs and actually program that in. We need 14, um, 14 of those. So we have, let's see, let's rearrange our stuff. And I go, guess what we could do is we could put in, um, let's get some carts. Uh, if we make the first available spot um, of that be those, then I think it'll just fill itself in. So we can just put them inside the chest over here, and I think it'll go into its spot. Maybe. We'll see. This is a big backlog of junk, but I guess not. All right, let's go over here. And uh, get rid of a bunch of blocks. So what we want is just cobblestone. Okay. So we have, this is the name of what we want. This is our extra bit of blocks to fill it in. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, okay. So these should all be good. Okay, good. Let's dump all of these extra blocks we just got in there. Uh, we wanna go downstairs now and verify that we don't have um, any extra blocks. Actually, so I want the, I didn't want the caboose tokens to end up in the system as well. So we wanna do that, good. Now let's make sure that the destination where these are going is empty. It probably is not right now. So those are caboose tokens. We don't really wanna lose those. Okay, so these need to not have stuff in them. What will happen if I? That was fine actually, because if it's, so, when I break these, it's going to end up launching a new cart with the excess stuff. So all that stuff will go into a a coat engine down below. That will launch the cart that we just put up there, which will go into the emptying system, and then should populate this first one here with stuff, and we don't actually need. The rest of that because we only need one one token really inside of that to be programmed for that for that destination so uh let's first i guess sit here and watch <laughs> uh it might wait it might take a while the card has to go up um i guess yeah it'll take a while for that other thing to launch now i think about it because that we, we just put a lot of items down there. So I might as well bump this cart to go on its own. It should be good. Yeah, so this cart, oh, this is actually interesting. 
So the other one is actually already down there. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look up here. See if everything up here seems... So this is the emptying stations. There's nothing up here, so it might have already emptied. So the next test is, did it already go down there when I wasn't watching? No. There's a cobble. <laughs> so where did it go? Captain Q. Um, where did it go? Hmm. Wonder where all those tokens went. Let's double check. Let's see if we can take a peek at the top thing here. To see if it happens to... Oh, it's a lot higher than I thought. <laughs> okay. Do, let's double check to make sure that it's not on the top of the stack. Because it shouldn't be. No, it's empty. That's good. I'm glad these are empty. Hmm. So where did it end up? I expected that would start filling up that destination things right there it didn't so that tells me I guess that there's more um, so okay let's, let's follow this path so this is the the line in feed here and it goes through all of these so perhaps it's somewhere on this first level here. But I think all those are filled in with cobble. So this is the the first destination. And all the rest of these are just filled in with cobble placeholders. And that goes all the way over to there and then starts its way down. These are all full. Uh, jumping didn't work. That's weird. Um, oh, it's still sorting through. Aha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess it takes a while to go through hoppers. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine in the world. So let's double check to make sure this thing gets filled all the way. <laughs> um, there's one stray cobble. We want to get rid of that. So this is going to be a whole full stack. Okay, so it did. It is working as I expected. Everything's fine. So this one's going to fill in with all that. Everything else is going to go down that direction. All the engine tokens should be sorted out on their own. Um, so we can just break this. And then everything that's left over at the end of that ends up um, in these chests. So this is all the miscellaneous junk. So let's get rid of all the swords. Oh, and this one, yeah. So they're, they're sitting in here, but this, um, this one, only when there are engine tokens running through, does this thing become unpowered and then actually send stuff all the way down. So it's, it's not the perfect system. But this is just sort of an overflow um, but if I have things like these um, swords and stuff, then it's harder for it to empty. All right, that's good enough. All right, so now we have that program, that destination programmed in. So now I do kind of want to throw a bunch of engine tokens in, um, just because they're kind of we're kind of low. Um, so I might make a bunch of those. And then I think we've programmed in the destination. Then we can run over, get some supplies, and then try to fix up the other rail station. 
So let's make a bunch of engine tokens. Let's uh, check our inventory. So we have that. Are there engine tokens in here that I can target? Yes. So these are already engine tokens. Good. So then we can take all of those and put them in there like that. So now those engine tokens will end up in the proper spot to move into the engines. Let's rename a bunch of other ones. Uh, no. Let's see, is there... Okay, there are engine tokens in here, good. And some caboose tokens, or uh, cobblestone, rather. All right, let's go like this, and we'll just put all of our engine tokens in there so we know what else we have to rename. And we can copy and paste from here. It'd be a little easier. Engine tokens, we can let them go. Just that there's enough in the system, is the plan. Okay, good. Uh, is online too? Yeah. Yeah, it is nice. It is nice. All right, let's get rid of these swords. All right, now we want to get some supplies. I'm going to need. Uh, a bunch of wood, actually. Um, I'm, but at the very least, we need some string and trip wire hooks. And a dispenser. Oop, is that a dispenser? Yes. Powered rail. Um, lots of hoppers. Hopper. Redstone stuff. Tripwire hooks, yes. Actually, I only need one string. Um, dispenser. And what else? Tripwire hook. Some redstone. Hoppers, we have some. We'll probably need more, but this might be enough for now, possibly. I do want redstone. Awesome. Some more hoppers. We will need repeaters and comparators. Do I have any of those lying around? Not here. Possibly at the other base. We do have quartz. Uh, redstone, redstone torches. That little room is very organized. Yes, thank you. It's sort of organized. There's a couple of random chests. I organized it and then I've since used it, so now it's not as organized. Yes. Look at all these good things. Um, okay, now we need um, some stuff. There's a little bit in this chest. I'll take more smooth stone. There we go. Do, 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 do. And then wood, because we want to make a bunch of, actually wood and, and iron. If we have a stack of iron blocks, quartz. Because hmm. then we're going to make a bunch of chestman carts. There we go. I'll grab half a stack. And then we want a bunch of wood. Do we already have wood here or do I have to go downstairs? Not a lot. Okay. Whee! So 
so I might have a bunch of wood in here. Good. Um, that's good for now. Okay. So now we're gonna go to the small rail station and just go all the way up. Maybe. And then we're gonna add in a safety for the um, for the things. A safety for the chest mine carts at the Port Hypermine South Rail Station. So, what is this? Gaboo token. That's interesting. Gaboo center to there. That's weird. Okay, uh, so south for Hypermine Station. Oh, in fact, we could. Uh, I'm tempted to finish the rail actually to the other station. Let's uh, let's grab a chest minecart or a uh, one of these, whatever they're called, and let's finish the rail real quick going the other direction. Until later. Let's uh, let's finish this track. Do 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 do. I don't think I need too many more. I think I was just like slightly short. So this might be enough. And then we can we can make sure it actually works right. Oh. I already buried the the uh, power form too. Was that it? <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh let's ride this back there and then back. And then then we can start working on the logic for the chest mine carts at the other station. Why is it lever there? Somebody I should close up that rail too. Or the uh, railing. Okay. So now let's change the destination. Let's see if it works. So if we do Iron Farm Station. Ooh, the light turns on. You press the button for your destination. Wait 30 seconds for two carts. For carts to come. If you like being able to jump, yes. I could do a gate. Oh, that's true. So that was the old thing that I had there. And then it automatically gets replaced by the new one. So now this should be... This has no engine tokens, which is a problem. Um... And that's because I think it's just short of engine tokens, possibly, maybe. Uh, I, I mean, it'll function enough in this case, I think. Maybe. Are you out of... Uh... Okay, that was weird. Um, let's get some engine tokens, I guess. I'll just give it to him. Okay, so now let's see if this brings us to the Iron Farm Station. I think I think I finished the rail going the rest of the way. If not, we'll hop out and we'll fix it. Okay, so I did not finish it. Hmm. 
What will that thing do when it gets over that direction? <laughs> I, I missed, uh, so I basically finished. I missed one spot. Okay. All right, and we have arrived. Yeah, okay, so now, yeah, success-ish. So then we, now we wanna go to basket station. To see if it, we can do a return trip or not. There's a random caboose that's gonna be sitting around, so we'll need to make sure that that's gonna be okay. Okay, so this has intersection six east. This needs to be south. Um, I I think I was tired or something because that intersection that's for that intersection, uh, and it says east, which is this direction. Which is actually now the default. So really that needs to be south. It doesn't, it's not necessarily actually um, right now, but I will fix it while I'm here. Um, I do have enough levels. I will make an anvil. Somebody's been in my chest. <laughs> Somebody has rearranged this, uh, this chest. <laughs> That's funny. Um, all right, let's go downstairs. Uh, yeah, it wasn't you. Somebody has tidied up. I think they must have a mod. So they must have opened up the chest and automatically rearranged stuff. That's my guess. That seems really weird to, like, come in here and then rearrange everything. <laughs> uh, I need to go into here. And we need to find which one is for that. So let's actually do this. Um, it's not the first one, it's okay. Okay, so what we wanna do, actually uh, to stop things from going in there, I'm gonna do that just to be safe. I want to find, so engines, ah, this is probably it here. No, okay, yes, yes and no. So I actually have two things um, here that I need to adjust. So this is a bunch of nulls. So this one here that says intersection six east, these all need to be redone. Um, oh, right, and so does this. Okay, thank you. Um, so all those, and all of these need to be changed. Right. So right now these all are a little wrong. So what we need to do is go to this. So intersection six south is what we want. The null is fine, null is fine. elegant way of doing this <laughs> I don't think <laughs> but I guess it'll work and again this isn't these don't this isn't technically necessary right now because the intersection isn't programmed at all it's gonna go either south or east depending on uh, on which direction you're going but it's okay 
All right, and these are gonna go into this here. Um, let's make sure that they're all east. Yes, yes, good. Or uh, south, rather. So then if it's south, it can go in. Nope, no, it doesn't go in. South, 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 south. No. Not sure why there were null in there. It's kind of weird. Okay, and that was this hopper. So south. There we go. So we need more of those in, I guess. All right, and then what do we have left? Let's um, let's try to fix this. So I'm just gonna throw stuff on the ground. Oh, there's only, oh no, there we go, good. Um, so we need all of these to be renamed. Like so. That's already fine, right? Yep. Okay. And then we need to go into this hopper. Well, I guess this this dropper first. And fill it up. And then let's locate those are no. Okay, there's some more. Good. So this hopper here needs to have these. And we need a little bit more in this system. So there's some that are gonna be here. No. Nope. Here. And then some more right here. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then we grab all the stuff. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And we can grab that. Break this guy. Um, I kind of don't want it to fall down there, but I guess I'm not going to really be able to stop it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a couple engines launching up top. Okay, good. So I think we're good there. So let's go back upstairs. A bit of a detour. I guess we're not going to get to the other station, but at least we have the gear in our hands ready for when we do do it. All right, so what is up here now? Yeah, so we don't want that to exist anymore. So let's program it for back to the station. I guess it's probably a bunch of... This one doesn't have a thing where it gets rid of carts. <laughs> I just remembered. Uh, um. Right. Let's get a chest, <laughs> and we'll just throw stuff in there. Oh, now I have a stray cart running around out there. Oh my goodness. Actually, yeah, I don't want this piece. Okay. That could stay. This guy has to go. I guess the yeah, small railway stations should really have a thing where they will clear themselves out. Like a reset button kind of thing. I just need to launch these and then also toggle that. 
So it's doable. But not with this current design. Okay, now let's try again. The problem is we have our stray stray carts out there, so I'll probably run into them and then bounce back. We'll see. Alright. It is programmed with intersection six south. Go. Which is this intersection here, which can only go south. Eventually, we'll need to, we'll need tokens there. So hopefully we don't run into some cart along the way and make everything not work right. And we can have a smooth trip all the way back to the main rail station. Better to have that properly programmed now. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So I might need to reprogram a couple other things that think that intersection six is like rotated. I don't really know why all that stuff is there, but. Oh, I think that that cart that went, went away on its own made it all the way. How handy. Okay, we have made it, we have arrived. So we are now set up in our inventory with some extra stuff, but with stuff to um, tomorrow actually, to work on the uh, fixing up the small rail station south of Port Hopper Mine. Uh, we're going to be working on that tomorrow to uh, to try and get um, try and get some chess mine cards over there. Because right now there there will be some when I arrive with this, but otherwise it's empty. So I need to have what well, probably has a chest up top with a light indicator, letting me know if it's empty uh, or if it, if you need more in the system, and then. Um, See if it makes sense. East, north. There's again. There's no engine token, so that's also a problem. Um. Um. To think how big of a problem it is. I wonder why there's no engine tokens. Okay, so maybe we'll start here <laughs> tomorrow. Find out why there's no engine tokens in the first cart. So if I forget. Tomorrow, if you're here, Jibanzig, remind me. That's actually what I want to start first. Um, so maybe I will. Let's find some signs. Um, and I'll log in with signs in my face. Thank you for the signs. So, yeah. So uh, I do want to get rid of those. So we can do that. We have plenty of. There we go. So to-do list, um, why no engine tokens in basket in uh, main station engines, followed by um, chest backup. No, that's bats basket. Backup uh, chest minecart in south port hypermine station. So these are these are my to do list for tomorrow. <laughs> We're gonna log out right in front of this, so we don't forget. Right. Thank you everybody for watching.